All right, so um, we are done with the data preparation. Now we're going to move on to, um, I mean, other files that we need in order to make the deployment. Okay, so in the, um, let me go here. This this what so far we have. We have the data one main underscore um, data and then new underscore data dot csv nlp underscore model dot pkl and then transform dot pkl. So these are the um, the files that we have so far. But these are not all. These are not all the files that we need. We need more than this, right? So um, let me bring this one here. This is how it's supposed to look. Um, this is what you're supposed to. I mean, have this is all the files that you're supposed to have in order to make the deployment okay this order so so far we have um this one we have this then we have that right um we have this one and then that right now what we don't have is this main.py we don't have this proc file we don't have this requirement.txt and then we don't have static and templates okay these are the ones that we don't have so um what you can do over here uh, let me bring this one and then maybe do this. What you can do now is to create um, create a new folder over here, right? Which is going to be static, okay? Which is going to be static, and then um, create another one, which is going to be um, which is going to be this one, which is template, right? So I'm just going to name it as template over here, okay? Now uh, it's actually templates, right? So. Uh, let me be conscious of that templates okay now um we have that one um what 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 you need to do is that inside this template this static right rather right if you go inside the static right we have these files over there right uh, autocomplete.js is it's a javascript i'm not expecting you to know javascript and this is not a software I mean, development class that we're going to um, go through JavaScript, the whole concept altogether. But I'm not expecting you to know that, right? In 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 the reality, in your workplace, or if you're working as a data scientist or machine learning engineer, you are not the one going to do that, right? It's, it's the work of the software engineers in the company that are going to do all those JavaScript things. Okay, this one, I'm giving you a template so that you'll be able to use it to build your project. And then... um. I mean to to get your job done right in the normal circumstance when you're working in a company your work is to um, focus on the data part building the model and know where to deploy the model right but um, creating the front end application and doing all the software engineering thing wouldn't be your work okay so I'm giving you the template so that you can um, just customize it according to your project that you're working on right I'm not expecting you to be knowing more of a JavaScript so don't worry about that. All right, so I'll give you this template, this autocomplete.js and then um, recommend.js, okay? And then um, I mean style.csc as well. I'm going to give you all that, right? And uh, you're also going to need this loader.gif and then um, this image. Dot, um, I mean JPEG, this JPEG image. I'll show you how to create these two as well. Okay, so um, inside of this one, I'm going to give you these files, right? So you're just going to come, you, I, I'm sure by now you have it, you have it over there, right? Because right after this, I'm going to upload it for you to have it. So um, you need to just copy these ones, right? You just need to copy them. Um, where is my copy? Yeah, you just need to copy them and then you come to the static. This is your static, your static. you just paste them over there, okay? Now you see that I have them over there. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you details of um, these doc documents later on. I'm going to open them to see for you to see what is inside there. Now, what we have done so far is to just copy them and bring the them here. Okay. So that your files will be in order. Then I'll go back. Uh, go back here, and then inside the template, right, we have these two um, files over there, which is home dot html and then recommend dot html. So copy that. Right, and then for your own. Um, you just pasted them there, okay? So now your files are in order. Uh, one more file that you need to copy is this main.py, um, okay? I'm going to show you what is inside this main.py. So you just can copy that one as well. That one it shouldn't go into any folder. You just have to be there, right? You see that is there. You just We are not going to put it in any folder, okay? And then the um, the requirement.txt, let me open that one right away for you to see. That one contains um, some of the, I mean, some of the libraries that we need to install in order to continue the deployment, right? 
when you're deploying this on Heroku, you need to uh, you need this requirement of TST in order to be able to um, install them automatically and do the deployment. Okay, so that's 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 why you need this uh, requirements dot TST. And I'm sure by now you're familiar with this because we've been using um, Flask and Her I mean deployment on Heroku in the previous tutorials. So I'm sure by now you're familiar with these ones as well. So you can just copy them and then bring them here as well. Right, you don't. I mean, it's just let me do this. It's just a simple process. Just copy, come here, paste it over there. That's it. So now your your files are in order. You have everything that you need. Okay, you have everything that you need.